I finally found a King Ranch and it's on an F450 platform. Special shout out to Larry H. Miller, Super Ford. If you need to get a Ford truck, it seems like these guys get pretty much all their orders fulfilled. Pretty much, not all of them obviously, but for the most part, they're getting a lot of good trucks. And I don't know if this window sticker is online, so I'll just show it to you guys here just in case. So here is the specs, all the standard equipment below it, and then here are all the options. There's not a lot of options on this truck, but this truck is pretty well equipped. Now that stone gray might be the bottom of this um, pickup for the two-tone. High output power strokes right there, and then a few other things. Destination is now 1995, and whoo, $96,000. Now we don't have to say it's a lot of money. We know it's a lot of money, trust me. I'm tired of saying it too. Now for some weird reason, I thought that the headlights were a little different for the King Ranch and up trim levels, but these are basically the reflective style LED. Turn signals right there, and then you have an accent light around with the fog lights also. Kind of like a projector style LED. And then for 2023 redesigns, you can now get front parking sensors. Also, camera at the front. That's what helps with that 360 view. And then check out that big old diffuser down below. You have your tow hooks. And I do like the overall design of this grill. No active grill shutters. But yeah, overall, really nice detail on the front end of this truck. Now here's the side. You can really see that two-tone a lot better. And because it's that 450, you have that larger fender flare because of the wide front track. 19 and a half inch wheels, wrapped into 225, 70, 19 and a half. I did do a video showing that you can get a 35 inch tire. I will put that one at the end of this one for you guys. Solid front axle. And you have the mud flaps already installed on the front. Now let me get the key really quickly. I wanna see if it'll drop down these running boards for you guys. All right, so here we go. So when you unlock the truck, it does drop them down. And something I just learned, they will stay down. And if you lock it, they go back in. Now check this out. When you approach the truck, watch what happens. I love that. So with my Chevy, once I unlock the door by pushing the button with a smart key system, those things will pretty much knock me out on my pretty much above my ankles so I do like that these come out right when you approach the truck really nice attention to detail there good job Ford can't remember if I showed this to you guys but yeah here's the King Ranch badge right there high up a power stroke I do love the fact that there's no chrome on the mirrors not on the door handles but there's a little bit around the windows very tasteful and there's a little bit on the running board, which is fine by me too. You know, this is the King Ranch, so there's gotta be a little bit of chrome in the cowboy, right? A little bit. Mirrors are pretty much unchanged from 2022. Camera's right below. And then here are your controversial steps on the side of the bed. I like them personally. I think they look more masculine on this truck, but that's just me. And if you're not, you know, familiar with four trucks, 48 gallon fuel tank comes available with long beds, 7.4 gallon DEF. They do have the largest tanks available standard. Now this uh, fender f on the side is removable. So if you do damage it, you don't have to replace the bed basically. You can kind of see that really nice design for that King Ranch right there. And as far as the suspension goes, check this out. This looks pretty much the same as the F-350s, but the spring rate could be different for the main leaf pack, but that overload looks pretty much the same as the other ones. And then here's your liner for the wheel well. It's not all the way back, so I would like to see that personally. You can kind of see the fifth wheel prep package right there, bolted into the frame. And then one more look at the front wheels too. 
right there. And in case you want to see the capacities of the tire, this is a G-rated one. And you're going to have 3,970 pounds of capacity, single, and then 3,750 pounds for dual, and 1,800 pounds for kilograms for single, and then 1,700 for dual. Now, out back. The only thing I don't like about the higher trim levels is this bright trim piece on the tailgate. The Platinum has it, the Limited has it. Not a huge fan of it myself. But let's go ahead and drop that tailgate down. You can kind of see too, there's a light that does shine down for your class five receiving hitch. That is gonna have a three inch opening. They did upgrade the hardware too for this truck. Parking sensors out back. And this one does have a four and seven pin. 430 rear and hit it twice. I'm very shocked that they're using incandescent bulbs on a King Ranch. Interesting. Oh, look at that. Yes. Check it out, guys. You guys see that? They have the parking sensors on the back of the. And there's a. Yes. I can't wait to show that to you guys. That's going to be awesome. That's awesome. And then here's a the step. They do provide the handle right here. Good stuff there. And this is gonna be your seven and 12 pin for video. And then this button's gonna turn on your bed lighting. You can get spray in, but it is an option. And sometimes I've heard it will hold up your build if you add it. So just something to consider. All right, so fifth wheel prep package right there. And 2,000 watts of power in the bed. Now this tailgate, it does go up with power. So all you have to do is just hit the button. They did take that from GM, by the way. Here's the exhaust out back. And let's go ahead and pop the hood. So there it is, guys. This is the new high output power stroke. So why is this engine such a big deal? Well, they never had two iterations of the power stroke until now. One thing to consider is this. This engine has a water jacket for the turbo, which feeds low temp coolant and make 35 PSI's a boost. Add to that, they did lower compression from 15.8 to one to 15.2 to one, and all new cylinder heads with revised cooling passages. So this engine doesn't just make more power from raising the boost. They did make sure they cooled the engine as well. So 500 horsepower, 1200 pound feet of torque. And behind this, Diesel is the same 10R140. I don't believe they made any updates to the transmission in terms of making it a little bit stronger, but that's a good thing for everyone that's getting the standard output power show because you know that that transmission is pretty robust. And as I mentioned earlier, 430 axle ratio comes standard for the F450. If reincarnation was real, I believe that I was a cowboy at one point in my life because Nothing makes me happier than to see saddle leather interior. And this is just, whew, it's fire. I love it. B&O sound system, the speaker grill, this is like, it's like brushed aluminum. And then check this out. I mean, wow. You can feel the grain. You see some of that piping there. And then look at the two-tone in the door. So they give you that black to offset that brown. It looks so good. Oh my goodness, it's fire. And right here, King Ranch. And here's some of your seating controls, 10-way seat. Now, this right here is gonna be for your max recline. So if you put the seat all the way down, you'll see the bottom cushion kind of start pushing up. Right there. And then this flap basically 
acts as a pillow so that's one good thing about these higher trim levels i haven't seen the max recline on the lower trim levels yet but if you do hot shot or if you do travel cross country the driver's seat and the passenger seat will give you this function power steering column and you have pedal controls to change the position of those electronic parking brake and some of your lighting hopefully you guys can see those other buttons there but yeah the seats look how big these seats are so how many do you have of your shoulder support you have one two three there's three um, settings for that perforated leather now do they have two colors for the King Ranch we'll have to figure that out but here's some of your controls on the door you can push out the mirrors three seat memories now the grab handle does not have leather on it but not a big deal but something I noticed when I jumped inside this truck was this steering wheel feels like it has a different leather material. I mean, even like right here, you can see they give you this little um, design here, which pretty much is for the King Ranch. It continues right there. Shows you the estimate, 1853. A little bit of chrome out back. Yeah. And then that cover does hide your wireless charger, USBs, and you have a little bit of storage down below as well. 12 inch display and 12.3. And at the very top, soft touch right here. And you have like this kind of bronze color right there oh look at that that is so nice you can actually feel this too here's a better look at it and you can really see the grain inside this wood too and here's the ranch right there Now, as far as the roof goes, you guys notice that they do use a brown color. I love that they do that. You have home link up there, your auxiliaries, place for your sunglasses, LED lights on that side as well. And out back, so still a nice design. And here are the seats. And you have some power plugs, 12 volts. You have two type C USBs, outboard heated seats. Again, they don't have to do that out back, but they do it anyways for you. Seat back pockets, and you do have collapsible storage below the rear seat too. If you are new to my channel, I've done so many videos on these trucks, showing you around these screens here. And if you wanted to see more, just go back and watch my other videos. But only I want to show you, here's my favorite thing about the new 2023 right here. I show this all the time because I'm just happy that Ford did this. You have your general measurements. This is so nice to have when you're towing. I use it when I'm unloaded too. Like when I have my Ram truck, I always had what Ram had, which is their gauge summary all the temperatures i love seeing this and they go a step further right down here show you the turbo boost engine braking which is your exhaust brake exhaust filter which is a dpf which is diesel particulate filter and your def level and again they don't just stop there to give you these gauges too really smart you can also see right here heads up display that is customizable and yeah wireless apple carplay so much stuff in here but you know what we're going to do right now Let's go ahead and put it in reverse because we got to use these sensors. Now, if you want to drop down that tailgate, you push the button right over here. Let's see what that said. So 
you have to be in park i keep forgetting that so let's go ahead and drop it in park so now it's going down so there it is so you see that yes all right all right okay let's go ahead and change the uh camera view so let's go for the back so let's see what happens i'm going to lift the tailgate from inside the truck so it should change the camera views look at that tell me that is just not cool that is just so cool wow i'm a sucker for technology as you can see like I, the littlest things this is awesome like you know when you're hooking up to your fifth wheel and and you unhook you drive off and you want to back up you can either put the tailgate back up or you can still see behind you so as i said earlier you do have parking sensors for the tailgate so as you back up as you get closer and closer there it is now you don't have to damage that tailgate all right i'm gonna stop right here let's go ahead and see where we are this right here is why ford will probably always be number one for them to add that kind of technology you know that just goes to show you why they're number one and i give them the respect because hey you can't hate on the big dogs you just can't because they're doing the right things let's go ahead and check out this payload and that'll pretty much end the video so here are all the numbers on the door you have a gross axle weight rating up front at 6,000. the rear is 9900 pounds this is a detuned gross vehicle weight rating from the normal F450s. Normally it would be like 16.5, but because this is not a cabin chassis, it's 14K, it's just detuned. And all in, that's actually a pretty good payload capacity, 4,901 pounds. And this truck, the only thing it doesn't really have that would add weight is probably that panoramic sunroof and a spray and bed liner. Apart from that, it has pretty much every other option you would see on a truck like this. But I hope you guys liked the video. Special shout out to Larry H. Miller, Super Ford. These guys called me and said, hey, we got this truck you might want to come take a look at. And I came running, guys. I came running. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. See you guys soon.